Texas Metal Show. My name is Jason J. Rock Houston, and my co-host is Tom Collier. And today we got with us um, our, our special guest, the band Wicked. How are you guys doing? What's going on? What's up, man? We're yeah. Wicked. You're listening to This Is Metal Show. That's I'm it, guys. Thank know. you. So um, why don't we go around the room and have you guys all introduce yourselves? I'm Gunnar. I play the drums. Scotty V, guitar. Chad Michael, lead vocals, rhythm guitar. And Danny on bass. And I gotta say, this is a pleasant surprise, you know, because um, originally um, your publicist uh, led me to believe that uh, we were going to just have Danny, but we love when we have more than one member of the band because you get more than one perspective. That's pretty cool. So uh, this is a great surprise. I'm gonna throw it to you, Tom, and then we'll get into the interview. Hey guys, you know, I'm from Syracuse, obviously. I know uh, Gunner's father, Roy, very well. Great guy. Uh, I've Thanks. heard of man. I've heard of you. Yeah, <laughs> Roy's, Roy's actually oh, came on stage with us. He's jammed a uh, one time we were playing, I had uh, Carl Kennedy on drums and Freddie Volano on bass. And Roy, I, your dad was out in the audience. I threw him my guitar and brought him up and I ended up singing. But great guy. <laughs> and I want to congratulate you guys on your new album release. It looked like it went very well at Water Street. I seen actually your dad was uh, doing a live video of it. So I watched it. Very yeah. cool. How's that album going for you? I love it. Sunburn. Right? It's That's fantastic, it. man. It's, it's, it's been such a ride getting this thing out and uh, having the uh, album release show. Um, having all our, our close friends and family out to the show it was so much fun as a blast. Yeah, we're we're super excited, you know, um, being our sophomore album. Um, you know, you'll you'll hear tonight a little bit like this is a turning point a little bit for us. Um, so we've just been pining to get this thing out um, and get it out in front of the fans, let them see the packaging, um, play the songs for them live, and uh, and again, super excited to be talking to you as well. Uh, you know. We love held hostage and have been big fans for years. So, thank you, man. Thank you. Hey, Tom, do, do I hear a future um, opening slot for these guys on one of your shows? <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's do a double bill together, man. We're getting ready to release a new album yes, together. So, I know you Absolutely. guys are going out with Raven. You guys are heading out with Raven still. Are you guys going with Raven? Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, we're, gonna, yeah, we're doing the the North American tour with Raven. Um, like Gunner said, end of March. Um, we're super excited to be with those guys, as you know um gunner goes way back you know roy and family with them so it's gonna be wild it's like it's like a madness of like friends and family going out and hitting the road you know <laughs> let me ask you about that you got i can't really imagine you guys opening for uh, you know on the raven tour i mean the, the two crowds are so different but yet um you know i think that's what makes it such a cool package I always say it's, uh, you know, Raven are a bunch of lunatics, as you know, and um, those guys are super high energy. Our slogan has always been high energy rock and roll. So I think the fit is perfect. Um, you know, we're going to strap on our black leather uh, and and put pull up our, you know, beetle boots and get ready to just like blow the stage apart with those guys. Uh, we're super yes. excited. Hey, you know, you guys are a little younger than me and Tom, but, you know, I grew up in the 70s and 80s. That was my wheelhouse for, you know, all my... Um, rock and roll um and, and i gotta tell you this um you know i never heard of the band until your publicist sent me the press release on the band and i checked you guys out of course because we like to do our homework and i was really impressed i gotta honestly say you guys are like probably the band i've been the most excited about maybe since the dead daisies you know and no, cool. uh, that's awesome thank because, you because you know they don't have rock stars like they used to and um and um i, I think um honestly you guys um got a great sound um, I mean, it's kind of pop, pop candy, hard rock. I, I say that in the greatest um, sense of a, a of a meaning because they're all great songs. The songwriting is really, really you're, there. So you're you're right on the you you hit the nail on the head though. That is a part of our evolution. Is you know not every song, but we are you know Sunburn was an album where we were able to hit the e break and kind of say you know what um, in the past we were really focused you know, very siloed down one certain musical lane. And and it wasn't necessarily always what we wanted to do. Um, and I think that there was a lot of people around us and, you know, and pressure to, to keep siloed. Finally, we said with Sunburn, we said, you know what? At the end of the day, we're doing this for us. First yeah. and foremost, we got to love it. Um, and then if everybody else likes it, that's just a bonus and a benefit. I mean, so I don't think you can can help but like it. I mean, I, I think if you're, you know, if somebody's half-heartedly listening to the, you know, any of these songs, you know, or they're playing the video on YouTube and half hardly paying attention, the, the songs stay in your ear. They got catchy, you know, they're catchy tunes. You can't help but 
sing along. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate so that, man. It's yeah, and we're for sure. We're excited to to pull in, you know, a bunch of different influences. I think, you know, there's been a lot of conversation since the album was announced to come out um, in in the press about genres and and like, you know, how you know a lot of people define themselves by a genre sure, and sure. make them comfortable and they're defensive about that. Um, our perspective is a little different, you know, especially as musicians, we need to pull influence from a lot of different areas in order to stay um, unique as wicked, if you will. Otherwise, if you listen to one thing, you're just going to be a copy of it, you know. Um, and so we always joke now with this album coming out and say, you know, what we're doing is genre bending. You know, there's no barriers. There's no rules around how we make our music. I would agree so, with that. I mean, I don't know that you guys could fit in a genre, uh, you know, other than, you know, like um, rock or you know, pop, but, but uh, like, I'll tell you, I hear everything from Def Leppard, Motley Crue, um, and I dare say even like ABBA, you know, uh, you yeah. know, if you listen to ABBA, they got the great, great pop sensibility, but um, it's a little bit of everything. And then Tom, why don't you tell these guys what you tell me before we went on air, who you think they remind you of? <laughs> I, I, I thought you guys were like, like the 70s, 80s glam rockers when we were growing up, like the Bay City Rollers that the girls went crazy over. There you oh, go. Yes. I love it. Yes. Millions of albums. And that's what I said to them. You know, I, I don't know how to describe it, but I was I, when I watched your video, I was like, these guys are like something that if you guys were in the 70s and 80s, you'd have blow, you guys would be rock stars. You'd be all over the world. The girls would be throwing their bras at you. They used to throw them at me, but I've gotten old, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's like Bay City Rollers if they shot some freaking testosterone and crack in their ass. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. And what I love, too, is when you talked about cross genres, I've never wanted to be branded other than as a rock band. I play with everybody from Molly Hatchet to Megadeth. And we've yeah. matched up with everyone and we come out and we play. We're always our own selves. And that's what you guys are doing. And I love the draw of Raven because those guys, I was actually, I played with them at the Metal Hall of Fame last year. I inducted them. I so saw that. Cool. I saw yeah. that. Yeah. Great guys. Great guys. I was there again this year with Ripper Owens and everybody. But yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Raven, were, they were just great guys. They're like, here, you want to play my guitar? I'm like, I brought my own. No, no, play my own. I said, yeah. 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 thanks, man. You want my amp? I said, well, those aren't really your amps or somebody else's. Those guys were funnier than hell. They're yeah, you know, yeah. the best time with those guys out. But but I love that you're not trying to brand yourselves and not not trying to box yourselves into something. That's how you make it in this business. It really is. You get it, brother. You get it, man. And so Absolutely. are you guys um, all friends? Did you grow up together? How did you all come together? Yeah, I mean, of course, it, you know, my brother Chad and I okay, the, yeah. the thing <laughs> really spawned off of our, you know, lust and desire to create, you know, uh, a rock and roll rock star band again. Um, but the story kind of goes, right? We found Scotty online. What was that site, dude? It was uh this this like MySpace for rockers called Glam Nation. And oh. it was really, like there was I it, it's crazy that we found somebody like nearby. Like Yeah, because he could have been from anywhere in the country or the were, world, you know what I mean? Sweden, it was all over the world. People were on that website. And somehow Danny finds me. I was like, that guy there. looks like you know, the perfect rocker for our band. And and I start messaging him and he's from the Finger Lakes from Geneva. I'm like, are you kidding me? Come on over. Let's try this out. And uh, and then Gunner really was um, the last puzzle piece to the band. Um, you know, early on, we had uh, a drummer that started with us um, and uh, Gunner came in right at the perfect time when the band was 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 getting ready to like kind of take that next step. Um, and, you know, he he was just the perfect fit. We always loved him. We always thought he was such That's a good guy. <laughs> these guys hated me. But, you know, as I played with my dad back when I was first growing up, you know, like we used to play. Show, we played a couple shows together. Actually, these guys hated me. And then so, was, now they love me because now I'm in the band. <laughs> so 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 we break balls, but uh, Gunner's right. Like there was always this like local competition. You know, us being proud about our band and drummer at the time. And Gunner was truthfully always the all-star drummer, okay. young all-star drummer of the area, era, uh, area. I'm sorry. And uh, so we, oh, we, oh. we really broke balls and stuff. And then it was so funny when he joined the band, we were like, we were like, yes. No, <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow. So what's it like um, being brothers in a band? I mean, um, do you guys always like see eye to eye? You always agree or? Pretty much, pretty much not. Pretty much not. No. Your own question. Yes, More your own often question. not. It, it's it's pretty cool. I mean, you know, we we have our um, pointed differences in terms of uh, opinions often, but 
I think that's like that healthy competition. Yeah, that's what makes like the band what it is really yeah. like, or it's it's almost like fact checking each other, you know, like or challenging each other to be better. So it's always that like climbing up the, the ladder. You feel like back. because you're you're related, do you, do you have that thing like where maybe you know what he's gonna play before he even plays it or? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I mean, we're always actually it's really like that for the whole band. And I think another important point to make is that. Um, and I always say this, the, the thing that's really special about Wicked is the four of us live together, like an old school rock band. Um, and we've been living together for seven plus years. So uh, so with that, really the whole group is like brothers. And and to your point, yeah, it's so funny. Like we'll, we'll generally be on the same page where we don't even have to say anything. Nice when you're on stage and that happens. Um, and then even just in everything that we do, you know what I mean? Like people yeah. have that sixth sense of like yeah, what's happening. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and Wicked, I, I love the it's, the name is so simple. How did you guys come up with that? I know that's one of the hardest things coming up with the name. Well, that was the idea though. Like we we're like, how do you come up with a, a simple one word name that someone's going to remember? Just like Kiss, you know? Yeah, or ACDC. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? like, it's just it's straight to the point. It's not like 10 words, you know? Yeah, yeah. And so Danny, Danny threw out there. Like, think about it. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Danny threw out there one day, like, oh, Wicked's kind of cool. It's a, it's a cool saying. Also, it's got that witchy feel to it. It's, and it's, I always think of it like, if you think about the definition of the word, it's it could be on, you know, left and right side of the extremes, really sure. good or really bad. And I think that it, it's a good definition for the band because that's where we operate. Like, everything is more bombastic and ostentatious than, you know, your normal whatever that's our kind of theme um and we like to you know it, it's perfect for the name it builds right into the whole character of our band and our brand now let me ask you, you now um sunburn and a lot of the videos sent around sunburn uh, I, i'm assuming that's the concept like summer am i wrong summer having a good time or <laughs> exactly and 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 the undertone though um, the album is really a reflection on like, you know, this, the years and years when we, when we first started as young kids and like the ups and downs and bumps and bruises and happy times and, you know, you know, pitfalls. Um, so that, th that really is embedded in the lyrics and, and like, um, hidden by that feel good, catchy, upbeat music, um, I think Sunburn itself in particular, and, and the reason we named the album that as well as the single is it's kind of like that old saying of too much of a good thing. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, you know, you, you're always going back for more, even though it hurts. Um, and that's kind of like that cliche rock and roll lifestyle. And, you know, we, we didn't think we would be subjected to so many cliches, but here we are. <laughs> We're living them. You know what I mean? So it's, it's kind of funny. And it was a cool reflection album for us to like, to write about something yeah, that you know again you know go, if you were to go back let's say 40 years ago like you know when rad and poison all these great bands molly crew were like first coming out i think you guys really would have fit in with the times and what's interesting is back in the day they had radio they had mtv um not so much anymore i mean you guys are getting the response you're getting people are going to youtube they don't have mtv it's kind of more of an organic thing people are just learning about the band and loving i mean let's talk about some of the videos to me the videos are so larger in life i mean gorgeous to me uh, i mean this is just me but it's almost like um if you guys were to live in the barbie dream house you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah that that one i mean really oh, the three videos what the whole story behind them is even cooler than than the videos themselves we said we want to do these videos and we want to do them in these locations in california just because it fit what we were doing yeah. so we hopped in um uh, E350, we drove from Rochester to Huntington Beach, 38 hours straight. Wow. Had to through meet us out there. And we planned the whole thing out, all the concepts. And we were like, let's just do this thing. And it was, what what an adventure, Um, I think. You know what I mean? And yeah. and all the, all the videos, ex excluding uh, Lost in the Dark. Yeah. Or yeah. We're done in California. I mean, yeah. I mean, I mean, I can imagine as you're shooting the videos like in Huntington Beach, people must be coming like, what the hell are you guys doing? This looks so cool, <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude, the day we landed in Huntington Beach, we're walking down the boardwalk and people are looking around like, who are these guys? I mean, you have four blonde guys walking down the middle of the, the boardwalk yeah. and it's just like, we look like a big unit, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I really loved uh, on Gorgeous. You're right. It was like a Barbie dream house and we got to really pull out these different characters 
as right. like kind of like the the boyfriends of the past. I mean, of the it's actors. so larger than life. But what I dig about is not just guys in their jeans and t-shirts. I mean, you go so over the top and people can't, you almost make people take notice, you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Wow. yeah, and um, another one I love, Summer and Sun, that's kind of just, you know, you guys outside in the, in the summer and in the hot weather and playing your acoustic guitars. But again, it's just kind of eye candy, ear candy. It's just all beautiful. <laughs> And that, that one was special to us, um, you know, back onto the motif of, of kind of expanding our boundaries. Summer and Sun and the video um, were a very personal uh, message about our um, late grandmother, who was someone very close to us, almost like a mother figure to all of us boys. We would visit her all the time over the years. It wouldn't matter if we finished a show at the Debonair in New Jersey. We'd drive back and the next day, we got to stop and see our, our, our bocce in Polish, our grandmother. Um, and she was a big part of musical influence for Chad and I. Um, and, you know, we just owe a lot to her over the years. So we thought, you know, we're not too macho to write a song about somebody, you know, that, that was close to us and let's do this. I think it'll be special. So. Yeah. And so Tom, I'm going to throw it to you guys. Uh, you Tom, you must have a few more questions for the guys. Oh, absolutely. So we have a mutual friend, uh, Scott Braun, actually, as you guys yeah, know. Scotty! Yeah. Yeah. Well, Scott, he's got to yeah. lower his inches down, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, love I took Scott to California. Actually, Scott works for my record label, Fire Rock Music Group. That's he's awesome. He's a photographer and director. So he always talks about you guys. And he, he shot you guys, what, about a month ago in, in uh, Rochester? Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah. We are, our oh, single uh, release yeah. party, it was pretty cool. Yeah, he said it went very well. You guys, you guys did it. Did you do it at a music store or someplace or a bookstore? Or record record archive. Record yeah. archives. That's what it was. Yeah, he said it was really cool. So, but yeah, Scott's a big advocate of you guys. It's, not, it's nice to have great, mutual friend. Scott's a great dude and um and great at what he does. Uh, one of those people that makes you excited about the moment. Um, so we we love him and love working with him. He's a, he's a great guy. I also hate Scott because the last time I saw him, because he, he was at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame too, or the Metal Hall of Fame, and um, he saw Twisted Sister play. He knows that's my favorite band. <laughs> and he was, I took Scott out there for that. Scott, I know, <laughs> I know. I know. We had to talk. And he rubbed it in my face, dude. So <laughs> they didn't have a bone to pick with each other. Yeah, that was a great time. Actually, this year I brought Jason out to the yeah to yeah the yeah. Hall. We finally met in person. Yeah. Um, cool. Now, next thing we should let people know, because I got to tell you guys, um, I love the album so much, checking out the videos, prepping for the interview. I, I've been wanting to get the album, and I know it came out last week on the first. Usually, I'll go to like Amazon or somewhere like that. Can't find it anywhere. Type in Wicked, you would imagine all the stuff that comes up. But So I had to go order it personally through your guys' page. But talk a little bit about that, because I, I think it's cool kind of keep it in, in the band's hands, you know? Yeah. So we, uh, yeah, it's all in house. We handle all of that, um, in our own house here, distribute it for right from here. Um, so you can find it at wicked rock and roll official.com. And there's a merch tab. You can find all the exclusive. <laughs> cool is that? Yeah, man. You can find it all on there. There's, there's merch bundles as well. Yeah. Yeah. And so, um, how, you mentioned, you have, this is your second album. Can people, can people still get the debut album or is that out of print? No, we uh we have copies left of the last American rock band. Um, we actually um we repressed a few more um recently getting ready for the tour. Um, that's a pretty exciting album too. Um, in terms of you know really being the bedrock of um early Wicked and um some of the fan favorite tunes on there. Um, so a, a super exciting vinyl and album in itself. Um, but. Together, we, we we're excited about the two the two um, products that we have out, and uh, you know the cool thing about living together is that we never stop writing and demoing and, and working on stuff. So even after this tour with Raven, um, we're we're really trying to push towards getting another album out towards the back half of the year. Because just... I gotta say, you guys are like the best kept secret. I mean, um, I'm glad <laughs> that you know um, Chip. Um... Uh, you know, send me a press release because otherwise I never would have heard about you guys. And I'm like, how the hell have I not heard of these guys? I went on YouTube. And I'm like, man, this this presses the hell out of me. <laughs> <laughs> the, there, there's a thing. There's a thing to that over the years, and um, and I think to sum it up uh, in the kindest way is we were fortunate to uh, as kids to have the opportunity to put in the work and pay sure. our dues to learn how to be 
the best version of artists and musicians and entertainers. Um, and when we were afforded the opportunity to work with um, some some really awesome talent, like our producer, Nacho Molino, um, guys got 10 Grammys um, and, and a few other folks, we, we kicked off the last American rock band and now Sunburn. And it's kind of like the rebirth or maybe even some would consider the start of the, the, this version of Wicked in terms of going out there and again, doing it our way. Um, and we have no intention of stopping. We have a lot of music. We have a lot of excitement and, and hunger and firepower behind us for, and, uh, and, and we plan on uh, giving the fans a lot of exciting things um, constantly. In the so I, I imagine, you know, most of the set is going to be a lot of the songs from a new album because that's what people know, right? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and maybe some heavier ones in there too, because we got to keep up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so um, how do you guys come up with a set list? I mean, like I said, is it a matter of, you know, you're, you're opening for like Raven, for example. So, you know, you're not, you're not going to be on, uh, doing a full set as if you're headlining a show or something like that. So, you know, the, the songs you can put in are um, limited, but I imagine it's most probably mostly the popular songs. Yeah. yeah. Singles, um, you know, and like Gunnar said, one of the cool things is, is we were talking like, let's make sure we get the songs people want to hear in there. And, and like you said, you know, there, there's only so much time, but you know, we're going to throw in some surprises show to show. Um, I know there's a, there's a few people that are like, you know, that are going to follow us from a few stops. Um, and so we want to kind of keep it fresh, fresh and exciting. Throw some Easter eggs in there. Yeah. And, you know. and, and, and we do that a lot. Um, so, I mean, you never know. Gunner one day might just throw a curveball and, you know, call out a song that <laughs> we didn't plan on playing at all. And, and that goes into the set. So we, we like keeping it fresh like that. Yeah. And so, um, I, I mean, I really think you guys have found the wicked sound here. I mean, um, and I do think when it comes time to do a next album, though, I don't. It doesn't seem like you'd be too afraid to kind of continue to experiment. Hey, let's almost like Def Leppard. You know, Def Leppard could do something like an animal. They could have um, something like you know, two steps behind. They could do a little bit of everything. Yeah, I, wait, wait till you hear it, man. It's, yeah, wait, wait, wait till you hear what comes after. We're, uh, he's right on the ball, though. He's, yeah. he's you know, he's definitely right on the ball with how wicked functions. Right. Yeah. Well, Tom. Um, you know, it's almost that time. So uh, do you want to ask the guys anything else before you wrap it up? Well, yeah, yeah. So I know you guys all live together. And uh, is it true you guys make your own outfits? Yes, we do. Um, I Mainly I do. Uh, I learned <laughs> how to do that years ago, starting with like the leather outfits, with, you know, the jumpsuits and whatnot yeah. that we were doing. Um, and then expanding on, you know, different types of uh, materials Material. and whatnot. But it's it's been a really fun process. And like, it's cool because, you know, Keep, again keeping it in house you know it's it's us doing it you know we're creating it ourselves it's just a, an extension off of what wicked could be you know our creativity yeah. yeah 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 well that's one of the things i heard about you guys is you guys made your own outfits and things like that and you live together i knew all that and it was like so I, I just think it's really cool what you guys are doing you're living the rock and roll dream man you guys are going after it don't give yeah. up don't hey it took me a long time but don't give up because it'll happen for you so. Thank you. Thank we you. appreciate that. Um, and we appreciate you guys taking the time. Uh, we're yeah. super excited um, to have the album out. Hope everybody who's listening uh, checks it out. Um, again, like Chad said, wickedrockandrollofficial.com or any of our socials at Wicked Rock and Roll. Um, and uh, again, we're headed out on tour with Raven. So we're super excited to see you guys out there. Um, maybe at one of the stops around North America. Um, Scott Brown is not allowed. He's not allowed <laughs> <laughs> so, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but you guys, your, your dad was um, also a musician, right? Yeah, mine is. Yeah, he still plays. Yep. And, and um, I, I imagine that must have had some influence on you growing up. Um, going oh, to see yeah. Him. Yeah, yeah. I've I've been to more of the um, the heavier side, you know. I think, like Danny was saying earlier, that genre bending, you know. That I mean, these guys listen to their own stuff, but you know, I bring in that that more heavier edge, you know what I mean? Which is a perfect blend for you yeah, know. Yeah, what... yeah. I mean, um, and it must be a great feeling, you know, doing this as long as you guys, have, and then you're finally getting this kind of attention, you know, well deserved. I think. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate that. And so well, what's yeah. next? What's next for you guys? You guys gonna your new album, your tour. Any other plans? Are you going to do any more home shows in Rochester? Yeah, we're, we're going to have a bunch of shows um, throughout the remainder of the year after the tour in Rochester um, and surrounding areas. We are, like I said, we do have another album that's 90% ready. We got to finish oh, wow. that. 
Yeah. And, um, and, and we got to get our logistics, as you know, there's a lot of work. Um, oh, yeah. the fans don't understand how much work goes into it sometimes. <laughs> um, so we're, we're, we're on the pure hustle right after this tour to try to get things together. We'd like to get it out and yeah. uh, go back out and do some shows. You know, I don't know if it'll be, um, a college, um, circuit, circuit of shows hitting some of, you know, a different fan base. Um, that's one thing we're hoping to do in the near future, or if it'll be another tour with somebody else. But um, one thing you can count on is more new music and more Wicked on the road. So, and, and I will finally say, you know, I think the cool thing about you guys doing everything in house and making the fans come to you to get, you know, to get the albums if they want or the merchandise is if somebody wants it bad enough, they'll 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 seek it out like I did, you know. <laughs> that's and we appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Yeah, and people should know that um, these guys, um, as new as they may be, they got they they have the same publicist as um, Judas Priest. So I think who um, have a new album coming out this week too. But I think when you got those kind of people behind you, it, it speaks volumes about the talent of the band. It's important to have a a, a strong, um, trustworthy team, and we have that. It's a tight team, and uh, we love everybody who's involved that helps us, and and all of you who give us the time of day. So we appreciate it. And I tell you, I tell you guys, it was really a pleasure getting to know. I, I hope we can keep in touch. And you, I want to say, um, from me and Tom, you're welcome back anytime. What we'd like to do, maybe have you back on down the line, and maybe do like a live review once we've really had a chance to hear the album in its entirety, and we could maybe do like a track by track. That'd be, That'd be awesome. awesome. That'd yeah. be great. Yeah, that's okay, awesome. So we'll reach out to you again in a few months. You, and, and best of luck to you guys on the upcoming tour. Thank, Thank you, guys. guys. We appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, guys. Bye, guys, man. Good luck on your tour. Thank, Thank you. you. Rock and roll. Appreciate you.